Today, we're getting ready to play Chrono Bomb Night Vision. Let us show you how it works, and then we'll play a game together. So we opened our Chrono Bomb Night Vision game, and here is everything you get in the box. You get the bomb, and then you have a sensor. You have a, a reel and a reel clamp. You also have the sensor clamp. You have four standard clamps. And then, very, very important, the UV light goggles. And a set of gear cards, which you can use to make the game more difficult, or you can play without them. The cool thing about this game is that the strings that you use are, you set up to make it imitate a laser field, and then you can play in the light or the dark. So let me show you how to get set up. The first thing um, we've got to do is power up the bomb, which does require three AAA batteries, uh, one, two, three, that do not come with the game. So make sure you get your batteries ahead of time, and then you'll need a small screwdriver to make this happen. You also need three more AAA batteries for the UV light goggles, so you want to go ahead and get the batteries in those before you start playing. Once you have the batteries and everything, the next part of set the setup is um, to connect the bomb's wire to the sensor. So you'll need these two pieces. Super easy to do. You just put the wire right there into the end of the sensor, and then you'll be ready for the next step. Now that we've connected the bomb's wire to the sensor, we're going to connect the sensor to the sensor clamp. The sensor clamp looks a little bit different than a standard clamp. You get one of these in the box, and um, the standard clamps look like this, and there's four of these. So you want to make sure you have the sensor clamp, and it's going to go right into the bottom of the sensor. And then you're ready to get started playing. It's time for a little chronobomb night vision. So the first thing we have to do is clip the bomb sensor someplace in the room. So you want to clip it on a flat surface, works best, a horizontal surface. And you want to make sure that this stays as level as possible. And there's the bomb. All right, then we're going to get the rest of our clamps and set up our room, right? Yeah! So then we're clipping the standard clamps. Got a standard clamp um, around our room. Go ahead and clip your standard clamp up where you want it. It's best to clamp them on a horizontal surface that can't be tipped over. And the string, when you're doing it, remember that the string is going to go through each clamp. Like so, around here. Yeah, it goes around there, right? Okay, let's set up the rest of our clamps. Da, 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 da. Then you're going to take the real sensor, and um, this has a little loop on the end, and you're going to bring it over to the bomb sensor and loop it right there. Then you're going to push the button. There's a button on the bottom. You're going to push that button and you're going to start taking the string all around the room to your other clamps. And your real clamp is your final clamp. So clamp it to a horizontal surface. And then you're finished setting up. You're almost finished setting up. He's excited. But if you need a little more tension in your string, you can use the reel. So you just would reel it in. You just reel it in until you get the good tension. Yep. And then you are almost ready to play. You have your laser field set up. Are you ready to play? Yeah! If you want extra challenge in your game, you can use the gear cards. Um, you would just place different gear cards along the laser field. And that makes it more difficult. The player must pick up each of these cards before diffusing the bomb. So if you leave one by each 
or different spots throughout the laser field, it will force them to actually go through and not just look for the quickest way to the bomb over there. Before you start playing, there's a few things you wanna check. You wanna make sure that the bomb and the sensor are connected. Check your laser field, make sure all the strings are tight or tension, you have good tension. If there's any sagging, you can use the tension reel. Then you wanna make sure that this switch on the bomb is set to single. And then you wanna push start on the front of the bomb. It's right here. So then touch various locations of the string. Um, let's see, touch the string. If the bomb makes a sound, it means the laser field installed correctly. If the bomb doesn't make any sound like ours didn't. Oh, now it did, touch it again. Hang on. So we, there it was, so he made a sound. If it doesn't make a sound, it means that it might be too tight or it might be too loose. loose. So you can adjust it, but definitely check that before you start playing. Are you ready to start a mission? Yes. yes. Okay, we're getting ready to start the mission. Okay, to start a mission, you have to switch the switch from single to chrono. And then you have to set the time you can set it from one minute to 10 minutes by pressing the time button, which is right here, the top button. So there's one minute. I'm gonna give him five. two minutes, five minutes. Okay, we're gonna start with five minutes, four minutes. We're gonna give him four minutes, but you can go up to 10 minutes. And then every time he touches a string, it's gonna deduct 20 seconds from his time. Like you do it harder, I'll duck. Yes, so. Seconds. Well, 20 seconds from the time. If you touch it hard enough, you could lose up to 60 seconds. Okay, he's getting ready to start his first mission. Let's see. We're gonna push the start button on the bomb to start the mission and the countdown will start. He's gonna go through the field, picking up all his gear cards and making it to the end to defuse the bomb. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna push the start button. All right, let's see, he's getting his first gear card. Oh. Where's he going? Number two's over there, I think. <laughs> Number three's over there, oh no, I lost him. Is he gonna make it? I, is he gonna make it? Push the finish button. He made it. Two minutes and 26 seconds. It's, oh, you have that much time left? Let me see. Two minutes and 26. He had two minutes and 26 seconds left. He defused the bomb. We're all safe. So if you're gonna play in the dark, you will need the goggles. You're gonna set everything up. Set up your whole game like you were gonna play in the light and then get the goggles out. You turn them on, on the back there's a switch and you can see, here's what they look like before they're on. And then let me turn them on. And then here before, now, once they're turned on. And then you're gonna, he's gonna put these on and we're gonna turn off all the lights and he'll be able to see the laser field glow. So now we've turned off the lights. We have our UV light goggles turned on. And when we turn them around, you can see that it will light up the strings in our playing field. It actually lights up our blind too. <laughs> so he has a little bit of a hint. Um, but now he'll be able, let's see, now he'll be able to go through in the dark. Maybe I should give him some extra time. The, the gear cards also, um, our glow and are illuminated when you're wearing the goggles. So it's a fun extra challenge. You do need to be in a room that's pretty dark. If there's, see how dark, well, you can't see much of anything. If there's light streaming in, these will not work well. So a dark room is your best bet. One more great thing about the goggles is that you can adjust the size. So that means Pretty much everyone can play. So he's got the UV light goggles on. We're gonna switch them on. All right, look at me. 
Okay, he's going to get in position. We're going to turn off the lights. I'm going to get in position, and we're going to play glow in the dark in the night. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for some night vision? All right, we're going to turn the light off, and then I'm going to set the bomb. There he is. All right, we set the bomb in the same way. I'm going to push start, and then we're going to watch him play. All right. <laughs> see if we can see him. <laughs> oh, where is he? I did less, 22 minutes and 48 seconds. So do you have any tips about playing Chronobomb night vision for other kids? I have one. Okay, what's your tip? If you're playing the night vision, the goggles on, if the, if the lines are like up and then there's like this two lines next to each other, one's going up and one's going down, always keep your body to the ground. Always keep your back to the ground like this. And then That's, roll, and you know, you'll be safe. That sounds like a good tip. Also, it's good if you're setting your la your laser field. you got to make some higher like we did and some lower, right? So you can crawl and climb. Mm -hmm. Does that make it more interesting? Yeah. And Mommy wants to remind everybody to always clamp it to things that are secure. And horizontal. Horizontal works best, right? Yeah. Stop. And once you played once? You played five times. You could play over and over again, right? Yep. Once you played once, play five times. You could just set the course. Make a new course if you want to. Make a new course all the time. Let's see. Show me the box. So let's see. This is, we just played Chronobomb Night Vision. Our mission was to cross the laser field before and, it's too late. And Did you make it? And try to dissect the bomb. Yes, twice. You made it twice, even with night vision. Night vision has been way better. So, Chrono Bomb by Night, um, Chrono Bomb Night Vision by Play Monster. Thanks, Play Monster. Is for one or more players too, so you can play with your friends. If you had to. Yeah, you could be see, you could do timing. You could see who comes, who's the fastest through the laser field, because it will keep track of your time on the bomb. Yes. Or you could take turns designing a laser field, right? Is wait, and I also have one more tip. If you're playing with friends, and you don't only have one set, always play in the light. Because then you'll have more fun. You'll be able to see, since you'll only be, have one goggle, and you'll all be able to see. Oh, yeah, you're thinking it's safer if you're playing with friends to play in the light. Yeah, because then you only, if you only have one set and you play with friends, then you should not do night vision. You That's a good play. idea. Safety first, right? Yeah. All right. Would you recommend Chronobomb Night Vision to your friends? Yeah! Yeah, maybe you should invite some over to play.